name is Barry here and you're welcome here to the Elfin Windmill in County Riscommon. It's the oldest restored windmill in Ireland. It was built in the early around 1730s, 1740s by your local Bishop, Bishop Singh, who was a big landowner at the time. And he built the windmill. Its main purpose is to grind corn, um, wheat and oats. And the wheat is going to make brown, brown bread and then the oats is used for to make porridge. So it was 150 years idle and the local farmer gave up the windmill and the site to the community. It started, restoration started in 1992 by FOSS trainees and it finished in 1996. It was in operation up until the 1837 when it was in ruins. So it worked for about 100 years and um, then it was left idle then for 150 years after that. So we opened, as a, we opened the windmill then to, as a tourist attraction in 1996. Every year we get around uh, 12 or 13,000 uh, visitors coming to the windmill to see it. It's a fully working windmill and it's the only one in the west of Ireland. There's four big sails here. There are 53 foot long from tip to toe and you expose the canvas and that turns the sails and then that turns a wind shaft which is solid oak two foot square 22 foot long and that is connected to a big brake wheel which is seven foot three in diameter and on the brake wheel then there's 72 cog wheels and they turn uh, what's an upright shaft and the top of the upright shaft is a waller which 11 spokes so the 72 turn 11 spokes and that turns a millstone and the millstone is about a ton and a half weight. So every one revolution of the sails will turn the millstone six and a half times. So you want the sails turning around 15 to 20 times per minute and the millstones will be turning over 100 times a minute and you'll grind about 600 weight of cordon per hour. Per hour. That's the output of the windmill. All going well. What we do here to put uh, the sails going, we pull down the sail here straight in a vertical position and then we pull up the canvas. A person has to climb up the top of the sails, up through the lats, up to the very top and tie the sails on manually. And then when you have one sail done, you have to turn the next sail down and put on the sail cloth the same way until you have the four sails uh, with the sail cloth on each sail to expose it fully to the wind. This is our cartwheel down here on the bottom that turns the roof and this is the tail pole, the pole that connects to the roof and that turns the whole tail, the whole roof around about 360 degrees. There's a track all the way around about. So you connect, years ago what they used to do is connect a donkey here and he'd turn the roof and you'd grease the top of the roof and the seven ton of timber in the roof. So it's huge weight but it's, it's, it's simple enough to pull it around. And see, see, the farmer comes in here with his grain and he's pulled up manually up through the trap door up to the next floor where the two millstones are. And just overhead are the two millstones and the top stone rotates and the bottom stone is stationary. Top stone is called the runner stone and the bottom stone is called the bed stone. And they grind the cordon between the two stones. You're talking about a ton and a half weight of each stone. So that crushes the cordon, comes down this chute here, goes into this bag, and you go off and go off out this door then, which you're off to your um, off to your baker with the flour for the flour. So the miller he pulls up the sack of cordon up here through the from the bottom floor, up through the trap door like this here. Because the, the sack goes in here, into this hopper, put the hopper here, and when the sails are turning, it turns this wind shaft. And you see this here, how oh, this chute is made here like this. So when this turns, it's square, so it hits off this, and the great, and the chute goes over and back like that. That time there were no springs, all they had was a piece of rope, a piece of timber to pull it over and back. So the quicker the, sea, the, quicker the wind is blowing, the quicker this will go. So this chute is regulated by the wind speed. And if you have, like today, if you have very little wind, the chute will be going very slow. This is called the damsel. So the sail, the grain goes in here into the middle of this stone, and then, this is the top stone, 
and this rotates and the bottom stone there, the stone is about a foot and a half deep and the bottom stone is stationary. Now this stone rotates around and underneath the stone is called the dressing of the stone. So there's actually grooves taken out just like your fingers together, it's grooves because if it's a smooth surface like that the grain won't crush so you have to have a, the dressing of the stone so that's a very skilled job and every couple of years you have to take the, two, the big stone here apart and get a hammer and chisel and dress the stone so that crushes the cordon and goes down through the chute down to the next level up there now the top floor is where all the the, the, um, the wind shaft and the brake wheel and the cog wheels are all left open. We left everything open as it was would, would, like 300 years ago. That's why the stairs here are so narrow. So there were no comforts out two years ago. The thatch is exposed. So there's a sheaf side by side. This is organic rice straw that's grown in Tipperary. And these are the scallops just hazel rod or sally rods and they keep it in place because there's another layer attached out of the first layer, there could be three or four layers and the scallops keep it in place and you can see there's a gap here for the roof to revolve but it's also good for natural ventilation so the ventilation comes in here and you look up through the thatch up to the ferry ceiling and it's still bone dry and that was done in 1995 so it's 25 years old and still dry as the first step